I am going to try to survive 100 days in Hardcore Arc Survival Evolve, but this time we're doing it on Aberration. This map is a fan favorite for its unique alien atmosphere, really good progression system, and crazy creatures. Not to mention the fact that this place is extremely dangerous, so this is going to be an insane challenge. So guys, go ahead, do me a favor, hit the like button if you enjoy this video, and let's go. Okay, quick survey of the area is definitely needed because raptors will be the death of me. I think we're good though. I can only really see parasaurs and an equus, of course. All right, sweet. We got to move from here though. There's no berries. All right, we got a bush right here. We're probably going to need to head down that hill, which is going to be really terrifying because again, raptors, there's other really bad things here as well, like basilisks. And honestly, if I run into one of those, we're going to die and have to restart. I don't really see anything terrifying. Oh my God, are we actually getting a good spawn here on Aberration? I have no idea, but it definitely seems like it. Come on, give me some wood. Just a little bit. There we go. Uh, oh crap, I didn't grab any stone. There we go, sweet. All right, we got a pick and let me level up wait because we're probably gonna need that moving back to safety we have our pick here somewhere and oh my god look day one tech no it's not really tech armor i'm not even gonna make that joke this time <laughs> so many people thought that was real tech armor on the island i have no idea why all right we're gonna need some more thatch and wood so we need to go back over to these trees i think we're safe it definitely seems like we are this is not a map that you want to just run around on at the very start you got to be very very cautious Okay, we got a hatchet. Let's put a cool skin onto that and boom. We got another level weight and let's go for that. And then some clothes, get some more wood and we'll start working on some spears, but we're probably also gonna need some more fiber. And I already need water. There's no proper water source in this area. So I had to settle for some special mushrooms. Okay, we got a bunch of spears coming and some clothes as well. We'll just focus on trying to grab some more uh, berries and mushrooms here as we go. I think I'll use a shadow main shibi this time and I'm gonna name you Shadow. All right, now we got to start killing some things. So we got some bulb dogs over here. Maybe I'll kill one of them if we can find a low level. That one's level 10. What level is this one? Also 10. You know what? I could probably almost instantly get it. No, never mind. <laughs> it's going to take quite a few feeds. I think they take the aquatic ones. Okay, well, they're all like level 10. So I'm just going to kill one of them. Sorry, little guy. I need the hide. That really didn't give me very much, did it? Okay, great. Oh, we can get chitin from killing these things, right? These little charge bugs. Although I can't reach him now. Creature tracker. There's my bulb dog. Uh, we got to keep an eye on him um this one here is also a level 10 i think yeah perfect we actually got a good amount that time i think i accidentally hit it with the spear last time so we didn't really get very much um what do i need to make now we can probably learn some more cloth go ahead and get that stuff crafted up okay i'm moving too far in this direction we need to focus on being over here although i'm gonna quickly hit up these gems right here which will give me some crystal for an easy spyglass at the very start land it actually gives me some crystal hey there we go nice i think i only need one but i'm gonna just hit it a couple more times not the right level to actually get myself a spyglass so we got to keep working on that um maybe we can start killing some more things around here that i think i saw a lystra over there that could be some good xp gotta go for this little guy though oh he's dropping oh he's already starving no way let me give you another one yeah he's probably you know what it's probably not worth taming him anymore he's just gonna keep dropping maybe i can go for some foundations and just start trying to uh Oh crap, you can't build in here. I just realized. Yeah, that sucks. I'm gonna have to leave this whole area before I even place anything. Okay, I'm fairly certain. Yeah, you cannot build in this area at all. I'm gonna have to leave and I'm probably gonna have to go in that direction way over there through that hole. Got a little bulb dog here. Level 35 is not bad. Okay, and we're gonna need some food. I can't cook food here, though. At least I don't think I can. I mean, if I'm not able to place foundations, would I be able to place a campfire? I don't think so. No, crap. Okay, here we go. Nice. I'm gonna call you light bulb. Look at him. He's so happy. Oh, I can't turn you down. I need to get you. All right. Well, we're level eight now. So that means I should have access to the spyglass. Uh, no, that was level seven. Oof. All right. I think I might just hold on to my Engram points so I have enough points for the bola and then also the bow and the arrows. Oh, we got an earthquake happening. Any cool items gonna drop down for me? Ooh, what do we have over here? Some wood. Got some crystal gems. Gotta keep my eyes peeled for a little box. That would mean that it's dropped me like an actual weapon or something. And there we go. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna call this one Bulbasaur. I'm sorry, light bulb. You're just I, I don't want to play with you anymore. Also, we do need to make a tribe name and what should we name it? We're gonna name it Night Shift. All right, so we need to do a little bit more leveling and then we need to get the hell out of here because the source of water is not really cutting it right now. I can't keep eating berries all the time. I just realized I should have enabled all my skins before joining this because now we only have just a couple to play with. Okay, so this meat is going to spoil soon. Let's go ahead and split all that, add that onto a stack, and then split all of that so the timers are all really low. 
Nice. Probably didn't even need to put the bola on him, but I don't want to have to chase him around into danger because you know he would run into something big. Okay, 70 hide. Not bad, not bad. Uh, What can I do with that? I should probably learn the mortar right now. We can see if we can get one of those crafted over here so I can use all my stone. One of those, actually two. We'll just hang on to a second one just for the moment. Need some more thatch. Let me go ahead and make some of these. All right, we're going to go grab some more crystal and then make some more glow sticks just to free up some space. And then we should be able to get moving out of here. All right, we're going to make our way all the way over to there. Maybe just hug the wall here so I only have like downhill to look at. It's a rock in the metal. That doesn't make any sense. Can I keep this bowl already just in case a raptor starts running at me? This diplo might be an issue because they can swat you really, really far. They don't do damage, but they can inflict uh fall damage by hitting you off like a hill we have a tech parasaur over there which i really want to go kill because if i kill that thing i would get some oil and some other good stuff i don't know if i can really risk going all the way over there though all right i don't really trust this area ahead so we're just gonna go ahead and chuck that and just have a little extra luck is that a basilisk that i see oh yeah that's terrifying we need to move towards the center now because if i'm over here i'm gonna get trapped i'm gonna get killed 100 percent all right, so we could probably actually go for this guy now. Maybe. Oh, now he's moving up there. Oh, my dude, make, make a decision and stick to it. Stegos are not aggressive, so we should be okay. What do we have? What is that? Okay. Par Taric Parasaur, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's keep running. <gasps> no! No, 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 no. What are you doing, bro? No, don't do that. He's not going for me, but still, it's still terrifying. Oh my God. Is that another one up ahead? Oh yeah, it is level 20. Oh man. No, this is super bad right now. I need that thing to like go into the ground or do something. Cause like I can't, I can't pass that thing. Okay. Running up for the center here. Uh, out of water. Not really something I can fix right now, but it's fine. I got some stimberries to keep me awake if I need to. I don't see any raptors attacking things. Like they would be attacking the parasaurs and maybe the trikes as well. So I think we're okay. We could probably stop for like a second. Let me just grab any amount of berries we can just to fill up on water. Oh, no, 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 no. He's not coming this way, is he? No. No! We gotta just keep running. I gotta just run away from the thing. It's coming for me. I don't know if we'll be able to get around all the metal stuff back there, but I'm running into danger here that I should probably not be just running blindly. I don't know if it's still coming. I I'm too afraid to even go back. We gotta just keep moving, man. There's water up ahead. We're gonna drop down to it. Oh, an explore note. How I have not run into any raptors so far is beyond me. I don't, I don't understand that at all. I should have already run into like 20 of them. I'm so glad, but still it keeps me just on my toes because I'm so afraid of them. Hang on a second. Let me go ahead and just get this thing ready. Just so, oh, I can, oh yes. Okay. I was about to say we can probably go ahead and just uh, cook something, but I actually don't have any fuel beyond one piece of thatch and that is not going to be enough. What are you? No, I got to go a different way now. I can't, I can't pass that thing. Are you kidding me? Ah, that sucks. I cannot. I cannot go near that thing. It will kill me. I can't outrun it right now, and I definitely can't fight it. It's too high a level. All right, we got to go for a detour. So let's go up this way and then go to the left. Um, I think we can drop out to where the water is. Oh, I just realized my other bulb dog's gone. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> I guess he just got left behind at some point. Maybe the basilisk ate him. Actually, that might have been what happened, although I didn't see it pop up yet. Got to go down and then around. I think, oh, right over there. I think that's the exit. I think it might be. Doesn't really look like there's anything down here, which is great. I'm very happy about that. There we go. Nice. Okay, we probably got, yeah, five levels. Look at that. Okay, the water's down this way. There's like no creatures around. What the hell's happening? All right, can I jump into the water though? That's the question. Phil, yeah, no, I totally would have died if I had to try to jump there because I would have hit the cliff or something. Tinto berry. Okay, yeah, totally should have that i'm just gonna see if i can tame the two of them maybe here you go bud what do you need medjo berry okay nice okay well pretty handy at least we can use you to go ahead and get some berries more efficiently now look at this all we needed was a freaking moss chops oh yeah that is easy water rare mushroom boom nice i don't even know what i'm looking at right now we got the moss chops we've got my shadow main chibi coming out of my chest like a chest burster and we've got this little bulldog on my shoulder and then I'm in the mix there somewhere. So this little island right here will be my home for the foreseeable future, uh, mainly because it's like safe. There's water all around it, so the creatures can't easily get to me. And um, yeah, we got some metal and stuff here as well. So 
perfect spot that I always build in. Too hard to find another good spot like this. It doesn't exist. This is the best area. Now that I had some sort of safety, I could finally focus on actually upgrading my tools. So I made a refining forge, harvested just a little bit of the metal from these nodes, and then used that to make a smithy, and then make a pick, and then harvest the rest of the metal. I also made a bunch of narcotic using all that spoilt meat that I had. After that, I started cooking up some food, and then made myself a hatchet as well. The levels were rolling in at this point, so I was already able to make myself a crossbow, and then I made some trank arrows because I spotted a stego across the water that I wanted to tame. My plan was to knock the stego out on my island, so I needed to lead it over first. Come on. I have no stamina. No, don't hit me. We just got to knock him out. <laughs> I'm so hungry as well. I don't want to jinx it, but we have a good rhythm going on right now. Oh, okay. He's torpor running. That's good. We need to lead him back onto land though. Unfortunately, the stego did not want to run where I wanted him to go. And he ended up knocking out inside of this little cave. Hey, he's down. Amazing. I was gathering some mushrooms and then I got a little high. <gasps> oh no. Unfortunately, I forgot which mushrooms you're supposed to eat when you're hallucinating. Is it the brown ones? I think it might be the brown ones. I have no idea. Was it the brown ones? Oh my God. That really really hurt me. I was able to make myself a water jar and then I upgraded my armor to hide. I went across the water so I could collect enough material so I can make myself a raft. Oh, we got a max level somewhere. All right. I kind of want to know what this max level is. It could be a fish, which is a really dumb. Okay. It's a dire bear. Okay. Here's the thing. We could actually get that because we can use honey for dire bears as kind of essentially their kibble. So yeah. We can actually get that thing. We just need to gear up a little bit before I do it. I finally had enough material, so I made that raft, and now we have an easy way across the water. I decided to name this Moss Chops Numbskull. There we go. That name suits you. I started hunting down more trilobites that were coming out of the water onto my little island. They're a great source of chitin and pretty much the only source of oil I have access to at this point. I wanted to craft a stego saddle, but I needed more hide, so I had to go over and kill something, and I picked this turtle. This was the wrong thing to mess with, though, because it ended up killing Numbskull. I quickly avenged Numbskull using my other Moss Chops, though. Oh, what happened? to you what what did he do to you is that your tongue oh buddy i'm so sorry can't let this hide go to waste on the bright side we did have enough hide now to make that saddle i finally went over to the stego to feed it so we can start taming but it will take a long time to fully tame up then i started grinding out to make a little trap for this dire bear let me just have a clean shot to my trap and boom here it comes oh it's terrifying I'll probably try to get this place down yeah i think i'll let it get in fully uh it's distracted by the trap that's fine Ooh. Oh, that hurt me way too much. I know it's a max level and all, but like, holy crap, dude. I should have used ramps. Oh my god, this was a mistake. <laughs> oh no. I'm gonna need to heal. Uh, I'm just gonna have to back away for the moment. I can't, I can't go near that thing. I think it did 127 to me. I think that's what it said. Something like that. It was a crazy amount of damage though. Oh, that could have been the end of us right there if I did not level enough health. Oh, that's so stupid. Why did I do that? I spent a little bit of time healing and then I attempted this again with a ramp like a smart person. And he's in. Perfect. Before attempting to knock this thing out, I wanted to make sure that we had everything in place. So I started grinding out for some more arrows. Then it was time to head back over to my stuff. So I had to cross the spooky dark water. And that's when... <gasps> I knew I could hear something. No! This situation was bad, but luckily I had the quick thinking to drop all my gear and hop back onto the moss chops for safety. It was only a matter of time before they dismount me again, and when that happened, I decided to just swim for the shore because I figured that would be the fastest option to get away. Oh my god, that's terrifying! Oh, my moss chops, no! <laughs> Please don't eat my base. You don't need to eat that base. It's not tasty. Why are you trying to eat my base, buddy? Okay, rip moss chops. There's no way I can... Oh my god, he's actually done it! He's done it, guys! Look at that! <laughs> All right, uh, I have no idea how we're supposed to kill these things. I have, uh, he's eating my whole freaking base. You turd burglar, look at you. Ah! <laughs> okay, stop, stop. Come on, no. Okay, we gotta, uh, I gotta move, I gotta move. Oh my, oh man. Okay, um, is my stego saddle in there? I have no idea where it is. Uh, okay, raft time. We're just, okay, rip moss chops. No, there's no way. <laughs> Abandoned ship. There's freaking two sarcos in there. Why? Why are you in there? Is my stego saddle on here? Oh crap, it's back there. And I had to drop all my gear. Oh, this is awful. There's only one thing I could do right now, and that is try to go back and grab my gear. Is that my gear? I think I see it. Okay, perfect. Oh, they're still eating my base. That's okay. Let me just grab anything useful. There we go. Well, the stego's all tamed up anyway. So uh, yeah, we just need to go over and, and get that sorted. I'm so gutted that we lost the moss chops. He didn't even get a name. I was gonna name him pork chop. I feel like that's the first time I've ever seen Sarko spawn in this lake area. I had no idea that could happen. So I saddled up my stego and brought it on over to the Sarkos to avenge my moss chops and base. Did they eat my whole base? No, I can still see it. 
Okay, where did they go? There they are in the water. I don't see them anymore. It is far too dark for these shenanigans. Like, why would they choose nighttime to attack me? It's just not fair. Yeah, they almost broke all my stuff. Cool. I managed to easily dispatch of one of the Sarkos using my Stego, but I couldn't find the other one. After a little bit of searching, I managed to find and kill the other Sarko, and then I named my Stego Bane of Sarkos. And I will not be letting you go to waste. After those battles, my Stego was pretty hurt, so I stood beside the Z plant for a little bit and healed it up. I decided that it would be a better idea if I moved all of my crafting stations directly onto the raft. That way, these metal nodes around this little island would actually respawn, and just in general, we can get away with our base instead of having to leave it behind. I was definitely in need of some better weapons to protect myself, so I went ahead and crafted a long neck and then some bullets, but we gotta wait before we can make a scope, because they're super expensive. Then it was finally time to try and knock out this dire bear. Lucky for me, a roll rat wandered into the trap, so I I was able to kill it and then get the dire bear to eat the body to heal itself a little bit. Oh, there we go. Perfect. That's exactly what I needed. This is kind of necessary to be able to tame it with a crossbow because you just deal way too much damage and not enough torpor. After pumping in many arrows and nervously watching this thing getting bloodier and bloodier, it finally passed out. Oh, there we go. We got it down. All right. How much health do you have left? <gasps> no way okay i could have done three more shots and it would have been on one and a half health left that's insane at this point i started to reconsider my plan of actually grabbing honey to try and tame this thing you see if i was to try and grab honey out of a beehive i would get attacked by bees which is terrible so instead we're gonna feed this thing mutton when it's starved down enough because there's literally no risk in killing sheep all right well i'm super happy that we actually managed to get this dire bear down i feel like we need to do a celebratory parasaur killing for this and goodbye hello there <gasps> <gasps> what? Oh my god, dude, that was so close. I looked away for a second, and then I looked back, and there's a freaking Sarko there. I didn't have Bane of Sarkos to protect me this time, but luckily I had my new long neck. Okay, we got it. Sweet. Oh my god, dude, that was scary. Okay, well, I guess celebratory parasaur killings are supposed to be a thing of the past. Uh, the Ark does not like me doing that. All right, well, I'm level 45 now. Well, I will be once I level that one point in and you are really close to being able to be fed so i think i'll head over now dire bearer oh wow that's expensive lots and lots of cementing paste needed okay we're probably not equipped to make that right now let's make as much of this stuff as we can though uh how much chitin do i have in here oh i've got a bunch oh yeah the trilobites yes and i have a bunch of stone as well i've just been grinding for that we actually probably can afford that after all uh we actually can probably craft that right now yep we can perfect i don't know if i'm just blind right now or if the obvious have just completely disappeared oh I hear an office somewhere. Oh, there it is. Look, right there. Okay, perfect. We got to move the stego first. Uh, let's go for you now. Oh, wow. That didn't kill you, really? <laughs> okay, that should get him. We use a pickaxe to get what we need. Okay, I will come back and hit the rest of that after. I just want to get over here real quick. Let me feed you. Perfect. Okay, let me go hit the rest of that office. Oh, okay. Never mind then. There's all these bugs. Uh, I guess we'll come back with the dire bear. And there we go. Nice. All right, here's your saddle, buddy. We're gonna need a name for you. You are a lady bear. I don't know why, but Bongo came to mind. It's not a very feminine name, but yeah, it works. <laughs> Bongo the bear. And boom. Then it was time to run around on this bear, killing absolutely everything in my sight. By doing this, I'm not only leveling the bear, but I'm also gonna be leveling up my character. We have got three levels into that. And what do we have to unlock now? I guess Fabricator, we can get that. Can't use grappling hooks on this map, so those are useless. If I want to, I can get myself a Ravager. But yeah, for the moment, that is probably what I should be doing, Fabricator. I had pretty much everything on hand to make that Fabricator. I started taming up a high level moss chops that was chilling right beside me. For its second feed, it wanted some honey, so I had to go off and look for one of the beehives we'd seen before. This is when I realized that all of the beehives I've seen so far are no longer where they were. I don't know where that hive that was over here went. I mean, I could have sworn it was like right around here somewhere. So I had to abandon that moss chops and not tame it. Gonna try and spoil just pretty much all of this meat if I can. Just have like tons and tons that we can use for a while. 135 dodic. Okay. I pulled apart the trap that I made for my bear and then used those pieces to trap this new dodic. But I couldn't tame it immediately because it was actually slightly hurt and I felt like I might not be able to knock it out before it balls up. I'm gonna see if I can kill this Spino and then try to kill the Carcanos. And if we kill that Carcanos, we can get organic polymer and then make a ghillie suit because the hide armor is a little bit too hot. Get back here, you coward. Oh, you can't fit through there, can you? <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Maybe I'll just kill him with the Dire Bear then if I can get the range on him. Hey, got him. All right, give me all that organic polymer. Hell yeah. 
That is a full ghillie suit if I've ever seen one. So I made myself a full set of ghillie armor and then I crafted up two canteens with the rest of the polymer. I went on a little gathering binge and then I made myself a full set of flak armor just in case I needed it. After a little while, I checked back in on that dotic and it looked like it was healed enough to at least be able to knock it out. But I also hit the right level to actually make some trank darts. So I went ahead and did that, but I didn't need them in the taming process and I managed to get it knocked out. And it should knock out. Hey, there we go. Need to grab you some berries. Before leaving, I also placed down some spike fences to keep it safe. All right, that works. I can get in and out without poking myself. Or maybe not. My bears get a lot of carry weight, so it makes collecting things like metal a lot less painful. I decided to go out exploring and see if I could find any more good creatures to tame. I'll never get over this animation. Oh, hello. Okay, that was rude. <gasps> no. Oh, I one shot him. Oh, I barely just spotted that thing at the last minute. <sighs> this was not worth my death. <laughs> God damn it. I dropped back to my base so I could make myself a glide suit and a zipline motor. Then I put it onto some flak armor and put the motor pants away. I wasn't lying at the very start when I said this map is super dangerous. I mean, even in certain areas, there's spores in the air that just want to kill you. Oh, crap. Uh, I didn't realize. Uh, <laughs> oh, crap. Hang on, we need mushrooms. We need the brown ones, I think. Oh my God, it's awful. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, note to self, don't go up and around that way. Um, yeah. I should have known. <gasps> Red gems. Okay. We got to take them. Boom. Oh, that's a one, four, five. Okay. I won't kill it. To tame a roll rat, I need honey. So we needed to find a new beehive, but luckily we have the bear now. So that means we can take the honey without getting attacked. Oh crap. No, 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 no. Oh, run. Oh my God. <laughs> Uh, that is terrifying. What level is that thing anyway? That's a level 35. Yeah, cannot face one of those until I have a gas mask or something. I am really struggling to find this freaking honey, man. Like, I, I just can't find any beehives at all. <gasps> one, four, five ravager. Oh, I need to tame that as well. Well, I don't have any trap stuff on me and I definitely would prefer to have a trap for that thing. Maybe what I could do is I could just go ahead and make a little trap here instead of heading back because I feel like I'm not going to be able to keep track of where this thing is. Let me get working on that. Okay, we got to time this well. And oh, crap. Uh... Uh, it's bouncing me around, man. I can't even get out. <gasps> crap, crap, crap. Oh, we're good. We're good. Oh, my God. Ah, I forgot how much they bounce you around. That is horrifying. Everything's just blood through my eyes. Oh, that really hurt. Also, you are hardly even in there. I know you are, but that is still terrifying to look at. All right. Well, we got enough darts here, I would say. And we have some arrows if we need to. But uh, yeah, let's try and get this thing knocked out without getting bit all the time. Hey, got you out. Nice. All right, now we just need to find a sheep to get some mutton and then we can feed that thing. But for the moment, let's get it onto the creature tracker. All right, well, I already found an office and it's really close to the Ravager. So I think I'm going to continue to look for some honey now. Going to let that Ravager starve up for a little while. I found a little supply drop, but I can't get up to it with my dire bear. So I had to use my climbing picks to get up this cliff. I was taking a major risk. So I was really hoping for some good reward. Oh, wow. That was worth it. <sighs> Why does Ark hate me? Well, I did a little bit of climbing with these things and it's already almost broken. Hey, the Dodex about to tame. Oh, wait, what? Apparently it is tamed. Uh, what? <laughs> 100% that okay are you tamed or not my real concern right now is whether or not these beehives actually are around the place and are they invisible because it definitely feels like they might be hey dodex tamed sweet might leave him there though because he's actually a pretty easy way of getting back to my base here otherwise I might actually get lost all right, here you go, Mr. Ravager. The Ravager's all tamed up. What should we name you? I'm just gonna name you Fang, because that's all that comes to mind when I look at your stupid face. I made my way back over to the Dodic and then freed it and gave it a name. And we're gonna name you Pebble. I made up some saddles for my Ravager and my Dodic, and then I took the Dodic out for a little spin. This little guy made getting stones super easy, and I could use that stone to make up a bunch of cementing paste. I was getting very close to being able to make up a gas collector, so I went around collecting up a bunch of crystal, because that's one of the things that I needed. Ah, no, not again! At least I have some mushrooms on me this time. There we go. Eventually, I had enough stuff and I made up that gas collector and went over to the nearby vein to place it down. I checked back a couple minutes later and we already had a little bit in it. Well, this is risky. Oh, totally worth it. Ha, nice. Another 145? Really? Okay. 
Ah, damn, I really need to find some freaking honey, man. Are these beehives invisible or something? I have no idea what's going on. Ooh, a level 130 spino. Okay. What about you? Ah, uh, poopy. Ooh, red gems. I'm taking those. Thank you very much. Dude, that's another 145 freaking roll rat. Are you kidding? That's like the fifth one I've seen. Why are they all level 145 specifically? All right, that's it. I am not going to stop until I find some honey. We need to tame a roll rat. It will make getting wood so much easier. And there's so many 145s. Needs to happen. So where the hell are the beehives, man? Is that what I think it is? No way. There's three freaking basilisks in the ground together over here. Are you kidding me? I wonder what levels they are. I don't know if a basilisk would be very useful in our grand goal here on this map, but it could be kind of useful to know at least. Oh, look, there's another one over here as well. They're just absolutely everywhere. Hello. Oh, okay. Well, if that was a high level, we could totally tame it, but yeah, the basilisk, I think probably would have knocked it out. Maybe that or a scorpion, but I don't see any scorpions. Oh, <gasps> hello, little guy. Look at you. Ah, oh, you're still alive. Okay, I'm gonna leave you there, though, because I, I can't really bring you with me. Oh, it's so mean. There was no scary Carno at the end of the tunnel this time, but there was some Ravagers at the start. I'm glad that they weren't here earlier, because they totally would have ruined me. With the help of this wild Stego, I was able to take down another Carcanos. This is good, because I've actually been saving up to try and make some cryopods, and we're definitely gonna need the polymer. Now all I needed to do was find a loot drop that I could access so I can start crafting them. And the quest for honey continues. Perfect. That's exactly what I was looking for. Using that drop, I was able to craft up 10 cryopods, which definitely will come in handy. I searched high and low all over the Fertile Lake area, but I could not find a beehive. Once again, I gave up my search for honey because at this stage, I was honestly convinced that it didn't exist anymore. This really sucked because having a roll rat would make things a lot easier. So I manually collected up a bunch of wood like a beach bob and then filled up 10 campfires with a stack each. So eventually we'll have a bunch of charcoal that we can then turn into gunpowder. I decided that I should definitely get that level 130 Spino down the river. So I went around collecting up a bunch of wood manually before I realized how much of an idiot I've been this whole time. Even though I can't find honey to get myself a roll rat, I have a Stego and Stegos can harvest wood fairly efficiently. The only issue they have is that they're very slow at moving around and I kind of need the bear with me at all times. As for the reason why we needed all this wood, well, I wanted to make up some behemoth gates so I can easily trap the Spino and then tame it when it's trapped. But these gates are very expensive for the early game, so it took me a long while before I had enough materials to make exactly what I needed. Oh no, you don't. Oh wow. Uh, that is a purple drop. I think I need to go grab that. Uh, I'm not sure if this is... Oh yeah, I can already see we're getting attacked by Piranha. I'm glad that I waited. Holy crap, and there's a Manta in there okay yeah there's a couple all right let's go for it please be something good okay carno salad blueprint not the most amazing thing but it's something after lots of gathering i finally had all the gate pieces that i needed so i fixed up my weapons and went on over to see if i could find the spino the spino i was looking for was down the hill but i decided that i wanted to clear out some of these other spinos which may have been a mistake because honestly they were doing a lot of damage to me and plus there's carcanos and carcanos are terrifying after i killed all those spinos i was in need of some healing so i went over to a z plant for a little bit although this carcanos didn't get the message that the battle was over so i had to quickly dispatch of him and continue my healing. Ooh, hello. You're new. Oh, you're also really high level. Oh, that's scary. I'm not sure if I can take that thing down. That is such a high level. The 130 Spino was still here, so I had to clear out some trees, and then I built my trap right up against the cliff. All we gotta do now is just lead him in. I shot him with my crossbow to lead him over, and then we had to actually endure some damage because he wasn't in the trap far enough for me to be able to place the gate behind him. Eventually, I managed to get that placed, but the next step was actually getting out of the trap before he eats my butt. Oh my god, let me out! Ah! It really hurts. The next thing we need to do is put this grumpy Spino down for a nap. And what better way than shooting trank arrows at him? Hey, there we go. My plan was to tame up this thing with some mutton, so we're gonna need to let it starve out for a long while, and then we can come back and feed it, while also keeping an eye on that torpor. It won't be long before I'm gonna need a radiation suit to travel around this map, so I went ahead and learned up all the engrams, and now we just need to collect up some more materials to make them. Mainly blue gems, so I had to go all the way over to the edge between this biome and the bioluminescent area to find some. This area is very scary, because there's a lot of terrifying creatures around that could easily pull me off my mount and kill me. Like this megalosaur that's chasing me. Oh crap, he's catching up! No! Uh-oh. Okay, I think I gotta fight him. He might grab me, though. Oh! Oh, that hurts. Come on! 
Okay, there we go. I crafted up a couple pieces of hazard suit, but we're definitely going to need more crystal. Honestly, getting an Anki at this point would be a really good idea. I went around collecting more crystal off of some green gem deposits nearby. In total, I'm probably going to need around two or three full suits of hazard armor to go down to the radiation zone to eventually grab some rock drake eggs. So we're going to need heaps of crystal. Ooh, free egg. Although maybe not so free because we got to fight this dude. I paid the Spino a little visit so we could feed it some narcotic to keep it down. We're definitely going to be able to feed it the mutton pretty soon to get it all teamed up. Oh, what the hell? Another egg? Okay, I guess we gotta fight this one too. The Spino was starved down enough and ready to be fed, so I had to look for an Ovis. These things are actually really common on this map, so it didn't really take me too long to find one. Then I brought all the mutton down to the Spino, fed it, and then we had it all teamed up. Hey, gotcha. Uh, I don't know if I want to name it, so we're just gonna leave it like that for the moment. Unfortunately, its stats kind of suck. I'm gonna need to make use of the Spino anyway, because I really want to take down that high-level Alpha Carcanos. It's way too close to my base, and I really don't feel comfortable having it around. So after making a saddle, I ran around or just killed a couple creatures just to gather a few levels and then I took on this Karkanos. Oh yeah, look at this. I'm keeping him at a distance. He can't even hit me. Oh, this is amazing. Oh crap. Well, now he's hitting me. Mm, the Spino could probably take just a couple more hits. So I gotta, I just gotta move. I'm running. <laughs> oh, ah, oh, damn it, dude. This freaking Alpha Karkanos is gonna be the death of me. I ran over to a nearby Z plant to get some healing going and then I did some thinking. I came up with a plan to first find an explorer note and then run around and use that explorer note to get a bunch of levels. It worked out in the end and we managed to pump in a bunch of levels into melee. Then it was time for round two. Dormammu, I've come to bargain. Oh, I'm gonna kill this thing today. It's gonna happen. My idea is that we're just gonna keep backing away as it's coming towards me and hopefully I won't get hit at all. Oh, except when there's rocks behind me. Okay, no, we're good. Although that stego just got hit. Great. Okay, no, look, now we're teaming up with the stego. Interesting. Oh, he's so close to death. Okay, I'm just gonna let my stamina come back and then I'm gonna chase him down. Oh, no, he's coming back. You heard what I was about to say. Bro, you've got cyan all over you. How are you not dead? Yes! We got you. Okay, I wanna see how much health this thing had. No loot, really. Over 100,000 health, though. Okay, great. <laughs> You only got 10 levels? How many did I get? Two? Okay. It's good enough. It's it's fine. I ran out of blue gems again, so I made my way over to the edge of the bioluminescent area to grab some more and see if I could find a high-level Anki. I didn't manage to find a good Anki, but I did find some dung beetles, and I teamed up a low-level one and gave it a very mature name. Oh my Jesus! <laughs> oh, dude, this stuff never gets old. <laughs> Oh my god. I started exploring this biome just a little bit, but then I realized I'm gonna definitely need a hazard suit if I'm gonna go any further, because there's special spores in the air, which would probably just kill me at this point. Uh, whoa, okay. There's an alpha something around here. Probably... Oh yeah, look at that. Another Karkanos. <laughs> eh, I know I could kill it a lot easier, but I don't think I want to try. Although, maybe I could crossbow it. That might actually be an option. Yeah, this actually might work out. Oh, you turd! These freaking Arthros, man. There we go, got him. The Karkanos had dislodged itself, so I decided to just abandon it. Plus, I'm naked, and it's really not a good idea to be naked in this biome. I was out and about killing some stuff and checking levels on other things, and then I found this. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, um, I want to tame that. I definitely want to tame that. The only way I'm going to easily be able to tame that crab is by heading back to base and collecting some stuff to make a trap. I crafted up everything that I'm going to need and then headed back over. I feel like across the water over there would probably be the best spot for this trap. We need flat terrain to actually build it. What the? What just happened there? It, like bounced me forward. That thing immediately just dismounted me. That's not even fair. After locating a good spot to make this trap, I got to work. I always like to use this specific design for Karkanos traps, and it's made by Captain Fat Dog. Then it was time to lead this lovely lady over to the trap. Oh, that, that just does not sound right. Unfortunately, I think the terrain is a little bit buggy for her, so she actually did not get trapped on the first try. It took several more tries, but eventually I got it into the trap, and it wasn't getting back out. All right, we just got to aim for the shell. One... Two, three. One more, I think. Oh, hey, there we go. Nice. Oh, why did I get blasted off of that? Oh, it was an earthquake, I think. All right, well, we got it down. Look at that. Hell yeah. Oh my God, dude. Yeah, that thing was so hard to get into that trap. <gasps> what are you doing? Oh, get away, get away, get away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that could have been so bad. Okay, yeah, we're gonna need some spikes around this thing. Yeah, we're gonna need to protect it. So I whipped out my stego and got to work on those spikes. After a little while, we finally had it all done and this thing was completely safe. 
Obviously, at this stage, we don't have any exceptional kibble, so we had to opt for using spoilt meat instead. I stayed around the area for a little bit to break some rocks around my trap, and then I went back to my base to try and make a saddle, but I needed some more blue gems, so I had to go all the way back over, collect up some more blue gems, go all the way back to my base, and then finally make up that saddle. By the time I got back over to the Karkonos, it was actually almost tame, so I decided to just stay in this area because I actually want to maybe base up in this spot. It's a nice central spot when you think about it, so it makes sense to live here instead of way over over where I live. So I started using my stego to collect up some wood while waiting for this Karkonos to tame up, and then he was finally ready. Oh man, this is gonna make things so much easier. Oh yes. We can even pick up the stego. I named her Mrs. Krabs, and then we got to work using the dodic. There's this really nice thing that you can do where you can pretty much pick up a dodic or an anki and then just walk around and auto harvest like this. It's really cool. And we got a ton of stone. The stego doesn't auto harvest, but we can still jump around and get it to the trees faster. I felt like the stego wasn't that efficient at getting thatched, so I manually collected a bunch, and then we finally had enough to craft one gate. This is gonna take a long time. I built a couple more gates and then I decided to go back to my old spot to grab some more items. <gasps> Are you kidding me? Yes, a beehive, they exist. How long have I been looking for another one? Why haven't they been here? Is it because I lived in this area? Uh, well, we can get 15 honey off that using the bear, but I think I need to find a roll rat first. I don't know if any of the high levels are still around here. Oh, there we go. There's a 145, perfect. Okay, Um, I guess we're starting up this team then. Although I gotta look on Dodo Dex and just see how many it's gonna take. Oh crap, are you kidding? No, it's gonna take 17. Ah, uh, okay, I think I need to find another beehive then. Also, I don't even know how quick the honey even spoils. We gotta figure that part out too. All right, found some more. So I guess let's start harvesting. There we go, we got 15. And it's gonna last a ton of time. Okay, we should be able to do this. All right, there we go. We have 30 in total. Now to tame a roll rat, all you gotta do is follow it around and wait for it to start burrowing. As soon as it does that, you gotta drop a piece of honey down onto the ground where the hole is and then at that point it's gonna come up and eat it do this enough times and you'll have yourself a tamed up roll rat here we go this is the last feed and boom hey gotcha man i think we got a hundred percent on that thing it didn't even drop down a bit all right, perfect. Uh, I don't know if I can make a saddle for you just yet, but let me go see. I named it Viagra because this thing's gonna give me a steady source of wood. Uh, okay, I might have the rest of that metal here somewhere. Yeah, we do. Oh my god, these things have some of the craziest look at the saddles. Like, look at this. All right, made on voyage. Oh, oh yeah, you gotta hold it down, right? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Oh, I missed this. They're so fun to use. You can even jump on them. Look at all of that wood. Yeah, you definitely earned that name. I used a bunch of the wood that I collected to fill up 10 campfires, and then I lit them all at once. We'll come back later and collect all that charcoal. I wanted to start moving all my items over to the new area, but I didn't want to make a ton of trips, so I just made a bunch of stuff that I could make using the materials, and then I brought over one massive haul. Once I got all my stuff to the new location, I had to go out collecting materials so I could finish off my walls. I took a break from grinding materials to go out of my crab and see if I could find a high level Anki. Oh, well, that's just terrifying, dude. Please tell me these Ankies aren't good levels. Okay, we're good. Oh, that is so scary. Yeah, I cannot face that. Oh, <gasps> that's a 135 Barry. Oh, I need to grab that. All right, we just gotta hop down and see if we can kill all these guys. All right, we're leaving. Oh, I grabbed the wrong one. No. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's it. Let me grab you and let me leave. Oh, I don't wanna fight all these guys. Okay, just on the off chance that something messed up. Yeah, we got it. We're good. The great thing about having a Karkonos is you can hold the creatures in the claws while you knock them out. Hey, gotcha. Goodbye, monkey. Wow, I just launched that dude into freaking orbit. I only realized after knocking out the Barry that we have a bit of an issue. They only really eat fish meat because they're pescivores or kibble, which I don't have. So I can either absolutely demolish this taming effectiveness by using fish, or I could just wait and let it wake up and then tame it later. I think I'll go with the second option. I made up some crop plots so we could eventually have a greenhouse going, but for that, I would definitely need to tame myself an Anki. We got a bunch of massive trees around here, so I learned the Engram to make myself a tree platform and then started grinding out materials to make it. I also continued to work on my wall because I was really worried about things wandering into my area. I finally had everything I needed to craft up that tree platform, but unfortunately, oh, Oh, are you kidding? These aren't real trees? I figured I'd be able to place this because I'd already tested in single player to see if cliff platforms could be placed on these trees, and that was a no-go. Kind of wish I tested this one too. So I had to settle for making a base on the ground like a loser. The baryonyx was really close to waking up, so when it did, I took it out of the base using my crab. Then I went out in search of more essential tames. Oh, okay. 
Well, that's a 140 Spino. I can't get distracted anymore. I really need to find an Anki. What on earth am I looking at right here? With no more Ankies in sight, I had to go further and further into this biome. Oh, that'll do. Let me check you first, though. Oh, yeah, no, I don't want you. Oh, yeah. I am unfortunately very deep into this biome, though. It's going to take a long time to get back. I was pretty close to the water, so I decided to just take a peek and see if there was any good frogs. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Where did you go? Oh, there it is. I think. Did I get it? I think this is the right one. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Two for one, baby. <laughs> Anki and a frog at the same time. All right. We need to get across and home. I got both of these creatures safely back to base and then started to knock them out. Oh, dude, stop. <laughs> All right, one down, one to go. Nope, oh, there we go. The Yankee would take a long time to tame up because we have to use berries, but the frog was very quick because we could use mutton. The frog tamed up and I named it Slippy like the one that I had on the island. Unfortunately, I can't make a saddle for it because I have no more Engram points to unlock it. We're going to need to level a couple times to be able to use some of these new creatures and then also make some new stuff. So I went out exploring to see if I could find some explore notes to stack and then that would give me a bunch of XP. What the hell? That guy looks so crazy looking. Eventually, I was able to unlock those two saddles and then I crafted them. Then we took the frog out for a spin. The one thing that I forgot about frogs in this map is that they do not do increased damage to these little glow bugs, but you can get some ending pace from them. It's just really hard to kill them because it takes several hits. Not like normal bugs where you do like four times the damage or something. I spent a little while trying to do this, but it didn't really get a huge amount of some ending pace, so it wasn't really worth my time. I started building my little workshop while I waited for the Anki to tame up. I added some storage to the base as well, and then that Anki finally tamed up. I named him Fulcrum, which is like an OG name I've been using for Ankies. Then it was time to take this thing out for a spin and collect all of the crystals so I can finally finish up my greenhouse. Unfortunately, Yankees only auto swing at metal nodes, so I can't just run around holding it in the crab's claw all the time. It takes a lot of crystal to build a full greenhouse, so I was doing this for a long time. I pretty much ran through all of my cementing paste trying to make these greenhouse pieces and other stuff, so I had to actually go out and collect more chitin. Huh. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> oh, hello. Nice. And you're not in the terrifying blue zone. Sweet. Ooh, hello. Thank you very much. I came back with a metric butt ton of chitin, so it was really easy to finish off my greenhouse now. Then it was time to release my dung beetle into his new home so we could get him to work making me some fertilizer. Next up, I needed to irrigate these crop plots, so we had to do a massive pipe chain all the way over to the river. And then finally, my crops started growing. I set my sights on going after that level 140 spino before it disappeared. Luckily, it was still along here, and we went ahead and trapped it the same way we got the first one, and then I knocked it out. Just gotta let it starve for a long while, and then we can feed it. It was around this time that I started to notice a pattern with this river. Every single time I'd find and kill some low levels, within a few minutes, there would always be some new spinos there. I figure if we keep doing this, eventually it's gonna give me a high level. Once again, I took Mrs. Krabs out on a little scouting mission into the blue zone to see if I could find some good megalosaurs to tame. While I killed every single low level I saw, I couldn't find any good ones. And then I had to go back to the spino to give it some more narcotic to keep it down. After that, I went back to killing some more spinos on the river. And then I started stocking up on some more spoilt meat by splitting a bunch of stacks. Yeah, that's probably enough spoilt meat. The spino had starved down enough to be fed, so I grabbed him a snack. Hey, there we go. Ah! Oh, no, 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 no. Kill it. Oh my dude. <laughs> Where the hell did you come from? I'm only piecing this together while editing, but I threw a sarco when I came over here with a mutton and I think that might be the same one. Well, at least the health in this one's slightly better. I had a bunch of mutton left over, so I finally made myself an industrial grill and then had a little barbecue. At this point, we do have a mate boosted set of spinos, but I didn't really want to breed them together because the male's health really sucked. Oh my, hello. It's like a freaking shark just circling my base. Damn, I'm glad that I saw that before I opened up the gate. Oh, that could have been so bad. And you're a terrible level. And what about you? Also pretty bad. Huh. Okay, well, clearly I'm doing something wrong here because every other crop plot besides these two is on 300%. It's okay. It's just half of my carrots and half of my citronol. Great. I ventured out into the blue zone once more, and this time we actually found something good. Ooh, okay, hello. Unfortunately, you can't pick up megalosaurs with the Carcano, so we're gonna have to come back here with a little trap and some tranks, which is exactly what I did. Okay, well, this is super risky, but let's go for it. Oh, that thing almost got me. Huh, so I guess I placed both of them without even knowing. All right, that makes it a little bit easier because then he's just stuck right here. The thing looks so menacing looking. It really just wants to chew my face off. Hey, there we go. Nice, that is definitely gonna come in handy at this point. All right, well, now we just need to find more of them. Uh, <laughs> stop. Dude, what the hell? That's not fair. Okay, there we go. I can kill this basilisk because I'm pretty sure I need its scales if I want to do the final boss. It's only level 15, so it shouldn't take too long to kill, but... Oh, there we go. Nice. Ah! 
That's good. <laughs> That's good to see. Hey, there we go. Now we're talking. Wait, what gender is that one? Male and a female. Perfect. I need some gate door thingies because I only have the gate frames. They're not that expensive. I'll just make a couple. And we've got some obsidian here as well, actually. I'm going to go ahead and harvest some of this. I'm just a little bit nervous that this thing's going to manage to squeeze out of there somehow. I probably should have broken that rock. Oh, hey, there we go. I was about to check it. All right, we'll just do that and that should mostly cover it up. Uh, okay, yeah, you're about halfway starved. You're gonna take a long time. Maybe I'll just look for some more. There used to be a tree there and the roll rat was in the tree and now he's just in the air. <laughs> I'm gonna wait for him to start burrowing. Oh, there we go. <laughs> what on earth? Oh, I gotta... <laughs> Dude, that is the best. Can I even hit him? Oh, I can't even get him. I came back to my base so I can make up some dyes to finally become Syntac. I also made up some white dye that we can add to these glow sticks and that's gonna make them a whole lot brighter. I spent some time clearing out the river to see if I could get some more high level Spinos. Is that otter gonna attack the Spino? Oh my God, that's amazing. He died so quick, but he had the courage to at least try. I've killed dozens of Spinos. When is this game gonna throw me a high level one? The Megalosaurs were starved down enough, so I grabbed a novice and headed on over. No, he stole the office! No! <laughs> you dick! He literally just ripped it out of my claws. Oh, hey, there we go. The health looks kind of low for a Megalosaur, I think. And the melee is okay. Much better health than the first one and higher melee as well. But it's a female. That would be so much better if it was a male. Oh, good though. We could probably breed them anyway. All right, well, I guess I'll look for some more. Oh, there we go, 140. Sweet. Um, all right, let's get this thing trapped. While I was in the middle of knocking this thing out, I saw some Arthros nearby, so I sent my crab in to go kill them. Buddy, do you not know how to kill things? Really? All right, now kill the other. I'll help a little. Okay, I somehow missed. Nice. Oh, well, hello. Sweet. Um, let me get down here. Oh, yes, freaking 150. Definitely helps by killing pretty much all the low levels that you come across. Oh, crap, no, he's onto me. No, are we good? I think we're good. Yeah, he doesn't want to attack a Carcanos by default. He just wanted the corpses. All right, buddy. Sun's getting real low. There you go. Oh, wait. So this one here is a male. I think that other one was a female. Okay. So this male could be better than the last male I got, potentially. I decided to clear out the river once more, and then we actually found something good. 145. Yes. My efforts on this river are actually paying off. I trapped it and knocked it out, and now we have three things taming up at once. After some time had passed, the two Megalosaurus were ready to be fed. That one's got some pretty good male actually okay we gotta go get the other one first uh not so great stats in that female damn so all three of these megalosaurs that i have on me have the exact same health it's all six eight 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 which is kind of weird but uh yeah so the male actually has some pretty good melee so we're probably gonna go with that for the moment at least until i potentially can find something better but i don't know if that's actually gonna happen and we really need to get to the breeding process for these megalosaurus so i can actually get down and get myself some rock drake eggs before it's too late looks like that high level spino that was here probably despawned or something it really wasn't a good place to try and tame it though so i'm not too mad about it you must have phased your way right out of that greenhouse when I was coming by. The dung beetle's a lot of effort, and I'm not really getting a huge amount of fertilizer from it, so I decided to build a toilet. All right, well, cool. I guess we get to drink toilet water now. Sweet. I decided to breed the megalosaurs while I was waiting to need to poop. There's a weird little exploit that you could do with the toilet where you could just continuously blast ass and keep collecting fertilizer and keep getting that little boost. Oh, I got distracted. No. Uh, okay. They're fine. They'll be okay. We need to get them some food. I had no idea they just immediately hatch up over there as well. You look like the perfect snack for my baby Megalosaurus. Ah, huh, this one's got a melee mutation and it's a male. Ooh, okay, new breeding male, I guess. This one's also a male. Okay, these things won't be able to breed for a long time. All right, please have some good stats. Yeah, that doesn't look great. Ugh, oh, man. I find it kind of hilarious that my baby Megalosaur over there has better stats in health and melee than this fully grown Spino. <laughs> so silly. Oh, hey, a novice. I'm gonna go ahead and put you into my base to keep you nice and safe. 
for later consumption. Just make yourself at home, little guy. You'll be okay for now. And then it was time to blast more ass. I went all the way back to my old base location to pick up the last of my useful items, including all of that charcoal. And then I got back to my base, dropped off all that stuff, and then went on another spino killing rampage. I made it back to my base just in time for these two megalosaurs to get their first imprint, and they both wanted walks. My crab was really hurt from all those spinos, so I had to take it to a nearby plant for healing. These plants really make me feel uncomfortable. I don't like that. Also, what the hell's happening with the shadow main? I've got like 40 minutes to go out and do some stuff before I have to be back at the base for the next imprint, so I figured I might go out and look for some more megalosaurs to tame. That's when I spotted another spino on this exact same area, although this is only a level 10, and it's alpha boosted. I couldn't see that alpha carcanos anywhere, so it must be the basilisk. Oh, buddy, you're not gonna make me actually hop off my mount so you come out of your hole, are you? Just for a split second. Did that work? No. What about now? Come on, bro. Get out of there. Ah! What if I kill something beside you? Would that work? Hey! Oh my, what the hell was that a second ago? And so began my great battle with the spicy danger noodle. All right, we got to get away for the moment. I am way too hurt to continue this fight, but I will be back. I retreated to a Z plant to heal fully and then went back in. After hitting this thing countless times, it finally died. Oh, hey, there we go. Damn it. I accidentally harvested it. All right, well, we got the fang anyway. Anything else, really? That's it? All right, well, that took a long time to kill, but yeah, I mean, it was probably worth it. Hey, I'm level, uh, wait, what level do you need to be for the, for the chemistry bench? Let's go with that. I think it's 82. Damn it. I was going to need a good amount of metal going forward, so I took the Yankee out and came back with a pretty decent first haul. Then it was time for the Megalosaurus to get their second imprint, and one wanted a Zulberry, the other wanted a Cuddle. While waiting around with these Megalosaurs, I was grinding out literally anything I could for XP to get more levels. Eventually, I leveled up, and then I could unlock the Chemistry Bench. The greatest part about the Chemistry Bench is it does everything the Mortar and Pestle can do much faster, but it also gives you 50% extra materials on top. So stockpiling things like gunpowder is going to be amazing. And to fight Rockwell, the very end of this, we're gonna need a lot of shotgun shells, so that was really helpful. At this stage, I was honestly running out of Engram points every single time I had to unlock something. So I collected everything I would need to make up a mind wipe tonic and then cooked that up. This is gonna free up a ton of Engram points, which we're still gonna have to use for other stuff that we already had unlocked, but at least it helps me out where I don't have to keep things like the frickin' tree platform anymore. This also allowed me to prep some scuba tanks for one of the caves that we're gonna have to do. Speaking of that cave, we're gonna need a baryonyx, so I needed to make myself some jerky so I could eventually make some kibble. The two megalosaurs are ready for their last imprint. One of them wanted something I didn't have, so I had to do the cryopod trick on it, but luckily it wanted to cuddle after. Now that they were fully imprinted, I can finally leave my base for an extended period of time. So I went out and about looking for more creatures to tame, and I managed to find another megalosaur. Ooh, hello. And you're a female. Yes. Hey, gotcha. I collected up some more metal with the Anki and then headed back to base, but on my way back, I found something else that I could tame. I am taming you. So I brought the Shinehorn all the way back to my base and started taming it up with its favorite food, the plant species Z seeds. Welcome to the family, Weregoat. Although you're kind of missing your skin because I forgot to turn on that setting. The one setting that I really should have turned on before starting this whole thing was actually this one right here. It basically would have meant that I would have spawned with all of my skins instead of just some of them. So I honestly felt like it was fair for me to give myself this skin because that was an honest mistake and it changes nothing besides just make my guy look really cool. Now that my two imprinted megalosaurs were fully grown up, I needed to take them out leveling. Oh man, that is a crazy good amount of damage to start off with. Lucky for me, Spinosaurs actually give a good amount of XP and and there's tons of them around this river. So after a little while of leveling, I decided to bring them back to the base so I could go tame up the other Megalosaur. What are you guys all doing up there? What the hell? Get down. <laughs> Oh my god, I love this game. I brought a bunch of mutton over to that 140 and tamed it up. Uh, yeah, okay, that's a female with some pretty good melee. Health is slightly lower than all the other ones, though, but that's okay. Once I got back to my base, I bred it with the melee mutation male and then stored the egg for later until we have more. Makes more sense to raise several babies than just one at a time. At this stage, I wanted to try and prep everything to head on down and grab myself some rock drake eggs. So first thing on the list is definitely making up some medical brews, which is super awkward if you don't have an industrial cooker and you have to use a bunch of cooking pots like this. I spent absolutely ages doing this, but eventually we had like 80 of them. Then I went around leveling up my female Megalosaur with a high health so we could benefit from mate boost down below. I had to shamelessly go back to using Bulbasaur for this because my new Shinehorn just wasn't leveled up enough to be able to keep up the charge capacity down below. I also bred the second and third Spinos that I tamed together. I had all my gear prepped and then it was time to head off. I always like to go a very specific way because it's a full pathway that leads you right down to some rock drakes. To start this journey, we needed to go to the Crystalline Lake, 
which is the purple crystal area in the blue zone. From there, we just need to go around the lake and then follow this massive track of metal things. If we just keep following it, it will eventually lead us to a pathway where we're just going to be able to continuously walk down without getting lost. This is all part of the radiation zone, so my suit is slowly ticking away and dying, and that's what those little damage numbers are from. My suit could eventually break, so I had a bunch of spares in my inventory. I checked out one of my megalosaurus when we were close enough so I could run down the cryosickness timer and hopefully drop another out when we're down below. I put my crab away when we got close enough because that would not be able to survive down here with these rock drakes. All right, we just got to take this slow and then we should be okay. I started picking off the drakes one by one as I came upon them so I could eventually get around to the back of this area where we might be able to find an egg or two. I think I see a nest up there. Looks like there's one. Yeah. Well, I got to get you out of there first. And sweet. Okay. How's my suit doing? Pretty good. I'm fairly certain this is the only one with a nest. I used my climbing picks to climb all the way up to the nest. Kidding me? It's only level 20. All right, well, we should grab it anyway. The second I grab this egg, all the nearby rock drakes will come for me. A little bit of damage, but we're good. Oh, I can hear them. Oh, you can't get up here, can you? Oh, yeah, there you are. I was finally able to throw out another megalosaur, so now we're gonna have mate boost. Oh my god, I'm doing so much damage now with that mate boost. I gotta move the egg into your inventory so I don't have to hold it for ages, but that's gonna trigger all the rock drakes. Oh, this one's a high level 185 okay oh there's oh my god they're everywhere oh you see this is what i worry about look at this <laughs> there's so many of them oh they're mate boosting each other now as well oh crap okay we're down to the last one here oh that was 180 oh my god <laughs> there's more oh they just keep coming no okay we got a nest right there we got two nests over here oh crap we gotta drop down there we go nice let's take care of you buddy oh 170 i really hope we get an egg from something like that no nests in there don't think i see any we have oh we have three nests here we have we have one right ahead of us right here right there and then we have that one and that one those are the two that i saw i think or maybe i saw this one and this one i'm not sure we've got three nests here though so that's a really good sign we need to probably just pull out another megalosaur and then do the egg triggering and that's gonna bring all the rock drakes to me and then we're gonna take care of them and then hopefully try to grab some eggs and not get attacked that time oh that one's doing a lot of damage with the mate boost oh crap there's so many all right i'm gonna go for this one and we'll just take a look i think first all right oh that's a freaking 180 nice uh do I even go for the others at this point? I mean, I don't know how many rock drakes would still have respawned. Feel like, you know what? I'm gonna just grab it. We'll uh we'll deal with this. Like we'll do this like three times if we need to. Ah, I think we killed them all. I don't hear any. Did you see that? I just had a mini heart attack. Yeah, that's a bug that can happen with some things in Ark when it kind of glitches you a little bit. It teleported me probably to the center of the map. Okay, level 80 egg. Um, oh my god, that was so scary. I have goosebumps now. Uh, all right, we're gonna grab that. We're gonna try to grab this one. I don't know what that says. We're just gonna grab it. I think it said 180 as well. What do we get? 160. Okay, I'm gonna get the hell out of here now. Could probably try and see if I can steal some more with the Karkonos, but honestly, we've got a high level already. I don't wanna take any risks at this point. You know, that was a lot easier than I thought it would be. I honest, why am I floating way above the saddle? I honestly thought, <laughs> this looks so ridiculous. I honestly thought that we, uh, we might have had a harder time there, but the Megalosaurus can handle it, man. They they are they are boss. Oh, I'm really hurting from this. Holy crap. This one right here, I think might be a super, super high level. Oh, it's still doing 91. Okay, that's insane. Dude, die, die, die. Oh, 175. No wonder. And so my long journey back to my base began. I stopped for some red gems on my way home because we're gonna need a bunch of these for a rock drake saddle. I made it home safe and sound, and then I got to work trying to hatch up my rock drake eggs. For this, we would need an absolute ton of air conditioners because I think it takes like 16. It can vary though, based on the actual temperature of the area that you're in. <sighs> Finally, they're actually incubating. I took 25 air conditioners. Somewhere between 20 and 25. I just built the last five together. Oh, the rock drakes are hatching. Oh, crap. They're hatching inside the air conditioners. All right, let me let me grab you out. Your little guy. And you as well. Man, I'm so glad that we got some good levels out of these two, male and female. Yes! They actually are. Oh, that's dope. Yeah, that's, that's definitely gonna... <laughs> That's a breeding pair. Perfect. All right, let's get the rest of these things hatched up. So we got the Megalosaur. Should hatch in like a second. Boom. Bino. Sweet. I figured that we just go ahead and hatch a bunch of things all at once because it makes more sense. So 
Yeah, let me get these dudes over here as well. Rock Drakes don't actually eat meat, so we have to feed them nameless venom. And to get that, the best way is to just go into the blue zone and then just turn off your life pet. Eventually, a bunch of nameless will come out of the ground, and then I like to wait till I have a good amount of them and then turn back on my life pet and then start slaughtering them. We got like seven nameless venom from this, which will be good for the moment. Cuddle for you. What the? 50%? Okay. And a cuddle for you. Nice. I have no idea why they got imprinted by 50%. Maybe I messed something up? Actually, you know what? I don't think I messed anything up. I think that they're just kind of like this. While waiting to do the next imprint on my creatures, I decided to go out looking for some more megalosaurs, hopefully females. I caught a streak of good luck and managed to find a 150 female. Not long after that, I also managed to find a 130, which is not a super, super great level, but it's good enough. We just need females at this point. After getting back to base, I really wanted to work on trying to get myself a refining forge, which is very expensive to make. So I made a couple more normal forges and then went out collecting some more metal to fill them all up and hopefully I would have this done very soon. Eventually, the two new females were ready to tame up and the 150 actually had some really good melee but kind of crappy health. The 130 on the other hand had the exact same bad health and also even worse melee. But at the end of the day, they're females so that's gonna make them valuable anyway. I farmed up just a little bit more nameless venom and then I went back to base and fed my rock drakes. I also bred up those females with my best male and then started incubating the eggs. Ah, uh, two more males? Are you kidding? Come on. When is this game gonna give me some females? Like, this is getting ridiculous. Ah, uh, yeah, we're probably gonna need to tame up some more females. These all have really high timers. These two are the lowest, though. I mean, 23 hours, 22 hours, 40 hours. That is 29 hours. And then this is, what is that, 41 hours? Yeah. Okay. So basically, in 41 days, these will have all been bred one more time. Ah, <sighs> man, yeah. The fact that we're just getting no female babies is just a real, real shame. We might have to go tame some more, honestly. I still really needed a baryonyx to the water cave, and unfortunately, that other one that we found completely disappeared, so I had to go out looking. After a little while, I managed to find something good. Oh, hello. Okay, nice. All right, we need to make sure we actually got the right one. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I brought it all the way back to my base and then knocked it out. And then I got working on trying to make up some kibble for it. I only had enough eggs to make four regular kibble, but we can also use superior kibble for the same effect. For that, though, I needed some sap, so I had to place down some sap taps. And this time, I definitely remembered to open them. The female spino I was raising fully grew up, so I bred it with my other spino and then hatched up that egg, and that also happened to be a female. After a little while, I climbed back up the tree to see if we had any, and we had a bunch. So I made up all that kibble and then tamed up that baryonyx. I had enough metal smelted to be able to make that forge, all I needed was some polymer, so I went out to kill some Karkados to collect some organic polymer, and that's when I found a 135 male Spino. I decided not to tame it in the end because it's a male, and at this point, I should really be focusing my efforts and resources into getting myself more females. Once I had enough polymer, I went back to base and crafted up the forge. Not only is the forge going to smelt my metal quicker, it's also going to make getting charcoal really easy. My rock drakes were finally grown up, so I bred them together to get an egg. Then I took a trip to the surface evaporation, which is where you can get all the best loot. During the daytime, this place is all on fire, but at nighttime, we can come here. There are reapers out here, which makes it very dangerous, so I didn't really want to have to fight them. This is probably when I should mention that Aberration has almost kind of like a seasonal day cycle. The first one has long days and short nights, the second one has short days and long nights, and then the third one's 50-50. The unfortunate part is we just went into the 50-50 season, which means we're gonna have to wait another six days before we get back around to the long night one, which is the best time to go out to the surface. But we can at least try and grab some loot tonight. Most of the drops can be pretty hit or miss when it comes to the loot. What I'm really lucky for out here are saddles from my megalosaurus spinos and rock drakes and then maybe also some hazard armor blueprints oh yeah there we go oh crap i think i gotta fight this one nope that is not worth a blue drop all right grabbing it not worth it that was not worth it at all Ugh. yeah not a super great haul for the first night lots of useless stuff at least i got the shotgun though that could come in handy just need to craft one not too expensive as well nice i went out to level a megalosaur and then i found this and it's a female i brought back enough polymer to make up that shotgun then i trapped and knocked out that spino right outside my gate how the hell did you lay an egg it's just you okay I'll take it. After a little while, the spino was all tamed up and I bred it with my best male. While waiting for the next imprint on some of my creatures, I went out looking for some berries. Unfortunately, I didn't find any this time. The spino I was raising fully grew up, so I went ahead and bred it with my best male. Wow, I just noticed that pike on the ground in editing. That must have been a drop from the earthquake. I didn't even notice it. We had two spino eggs to hatch, but I wanted to hold on to them until we had more things to hatch. Now that I was free from the responsibility of having to imprint more creatures, I decided to go out and look for some more baryonyxes, and I wouldn't come back until I found some good ones. I searched all over over the place but eventually found a 140 male my overconfidence with this jump may have been my downfall but it actually led to a fruitful outcome <gasps> whoa ah uh, crap um 
I don't know if I have enough kibble to be able to get this one as well, but I, I guess I can try. Turns out I did have enough kibble to tame up the two of them because the 135 would take one less. I made up all the kibble I could and then fed them. Then I went ahead and bred the male with the two females I now have. After that, I decided to go down to the rock drag trench again. I wanted to see if we could get a couple more good eggs before we get into another session of raising things and I can't leave my base anymore. I checked a bunch of nests and then eventually found this. Oh, 180 egg. Let me just check some of the other ones before we actually grab it. They were all crap. All right. Here we go, boom, and let's leave. Try and avoid fighting pretty much all these dudes. I checked every single nest I could find and I couldn't find any more good eggs. So I went back up and then started hatching up all of my eggs. Ooh, I got twins, hell yeah. Male, male, male. Damn it. The two baby spinos were male and female, and then the two baryonyxes were both female. That is terrifying. That thing's just outside of my freaking base. I had spent way too much time stuck in the base doing things, so I decided to go out in the river and start leveling one of my spinos. Once my two baryonyxes were fully grown and imprinted, I decided to breed them with my other male, just to have some more eggs. Then I started leveling the better of these two baryonyx. After that, I headed up to the surface because we were back onto the ideal day-night cycle. I went to my favorite surface area, which is right beside the Fertile Lake. This one's definitely the best because it's it's a lot smaller, which means less traveling around, but you still get the same amount of drops anyway. Ooh, okay. That's actually pretty good. We left with some pretty decent loot, and I went back to my base and made up that new Karkonos saddle. Then I went back up to the surface as soon as I could to get a full night of drops. Rock Drake saddle blueprint, hell yeah. Yep, pretty good haul from tonight. I just wish I didn't waste time on making that other saddle. And of course, I went back up the next evening as well. That is actually a pretty good haul, especially the shotgun. All right, well, we're back to 50-50 day and night, so there's not much point of coming back up here. I guess Guess I'll do some other stuff. So I went out and started leveling the barry a little more. All right, so we're on day 51, which puts us at the middle part of the challenge. So I thought we might do a little bit of a check-in just to kind of talk about what we've done so far and what we still have to get done. But just in general, man, like what the hell? I got so much stuff done. And even just like the first 40 days, we had like the majority of this stuff right here. It's kind of crazy, honestly. But uh, yeah, so so far for the final boss fight, we have 20 creatures I can bring in. So far, we have five Megalosaurs all ready to go, pretty much. I guess I could probably try and get some more levels into them. We have four Spinos ready to go as well. And then over here, I have my five female Megalosaurs that should be able to breed at some point um, pretty soon, hopefully. Let's see. I think the one on the end had the highest timer, and it's probably still around 24 hours. Uh, 28 hours. That's even worse. So in around 28 days, I should be able to have that and all of these other ones bred up and I'll hatch all those eggs probably at the same time and, and try and raise them all up. So at minimum, we're going to have 10 Megalosaurs, but we could get twins or triplets, who knows? So I'm not going to hold out for that, but we're going to have most likely 10 Megalosaurs going in, all imprinted. Uh, we're going to have the Rock Drake, we're going to have my shoulder pet, and then we're going to have at maximum eight Spinos going in because currently we have four imprinted Spinos and a bunch of females that are like ready to breed. You're already ready to breed. Uh, actually, that's the new one. I haven't bred it yet. You have 10 hours. I think another one had uh, 13, basically 14 hours there. Uh, so yeah, we should be able to pull a bunch of eggs out of these Spinos here and, um, and use those for the boss fight as well. But yeah, man, just in general, like I'm so surprised with how much stuff we have done so far, but we still need all three artifacts. We still need to get some more good surface drops, like really good saddles and stuff like that. But um, yeah, we got plenty of time to at least attempt to get those surface drops. I am kind of angling towards maybe fighting Beta Rockwell, but we'll see. We'll see if we can actually manage to do that. Uh, could happen. Who knows? But I'm, I'm not going to... I'm not going to say it right now until we actually get to the very end and then I, I know whether or not we'll be able to do it. But um, I don't know, man. I'm feeling pretty confident. We've done so much so far. And yeah, like I guarantee the first half of this video is like freaking hour and a half or something. It's got to be an insane amount of footage that is actually going to make it into the final cut. But uh, yeah, anyway, that is just a little bit of a check-in and I'm going to keep working away here. Probably do the caves pretty soon as well, to be honest. But uh, yeah, <laughs> man. So crazy. It was about time that we go after some artifacts, so I decided to start off with the cave that we were living near at the start. This one could be pretty dangerous because there's a lot of raptors around and they can still pull me off my mount. And I really should have used my barry because the megalosaur can't jump across these gaps. We can shoot and kill some creatures from over here though. It just meant that I had to wait around a little bit for the cryo sickness to go away so I could throw it back out on the other side. Oh crap, I think I gotta put him away again at this part. I feel like I do. Oh no, I think we fit. Okay, that's good. Seriously, dude, like what on earth just happened there? It just dismounts me. All right, we got a yellow drop over there. I definitely need to get that before we leave. This artifact really doesn't take very long to get to. Artifact of the depths. Sweet. 
There's a little bit more to the cave, but I didn't really feel like going around exploring because there's a lot of raptors in here. Ugh, the yellow drop must have just straight up disappeared. That is so annoying. Like, God, I didn't know I needed to grab it immediately. This is about as far as you can go, buddy, but thank you for the help. All right, well, I got the artifact. I guess that's good, but it kind of sucks that I didn't get any loot. I continued my river rampages in an attempt to level up the rest of my spinos. And then we finally got back to the day-night cycle that I can go out to the surface on. Here is my haul from the first night. Here is my haul from the second night. This was the third night's haul. <gasps> Whoa, hang on. Okay, we gotta check that out in a second. Uh, let me get up there. No way. Yes! Oh, that's gonna be so good. 94 armor, almost 95. That is, yeah, that is a really good find. Wow, the first time I come to a different area during this nighttime and we find something this good, like maybe I'd be making a mistake. I have no idea. And then here was the last hole. I made up some vaults so I could expand my storage. And then I got to work and trying to collect up a bunch of materials to eventually make up a bunch of these saddles. Definitely gonna need a lot of hide though because I only had around 10,000. Two of my female megalosaurs were finally ready to breed again. So I went ahead and bred them and then also bred two of my spinos. Hey, a female, finally. Two females, amazing. Okay, I could probably breed these two if they've got some good stats. Uh, Yeah, this one here got the good melee and the decent health. And this one got the lower melee and the decent health. Okay, not bad. Two male spinos though. That's okay, I didn't really need a huge amount of them anyway. I pretty much spent the next few days just imprinting them and raising them up. By this stage, the spinos are already fully grown up, so I took one out for some leveling. Oh, hello, level 20, not bad. Should be able to manage it with this spino, I would say. Nice. All right, 12 levels, uh, not bad, not bad. Then I hunted down a drop to make up some more cryopods. I made 20 new cryopods in total just so we had enough to store a bunch of creatures around the base and then also just all of my boss creatures. My two new female megalosaurs were fully grown up so I bred them with my best male. Then I took one of them out for some leveling and I managed to find an explorer note beside my base that I somehow missed until now. He's holding me underwater. He's like freaking waterboarding me. That is not fair. Oh, go away. Oh, I hate those things. Seriously, you're like chilling out right beside my base? That does not make me feel good at all. Oh wait, what? My freaking gate's open! Dude, get out of here! Oh crap, I think this guy can actually pull me off of this thing, so I don't really want to go after it with this. My gate is wide open. Did I honestly leave it open? Are you kidding? Oh, no, no, no! Don't, don't, don't. He can break stone, so I don't really want him attacking my base. Okay, buddy, let's, uh, let's lead you away. Come here, come on. All right, here you go. That roll rat right there saved my whole base. Legit. Like, if that thing... Like, I guess it would have run out of the water after it, so I don't really know. But anyway, I mean, like, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna credit that roll rat with saving my base. Oh, man. Yeah, that could have been really, really bad. Like, it would have just wandered straight in. And what do I even have in there? I see spinos. I, oh, my God. Wait, all my gathering creatures are, like, to the right as we walk in that gate. So, yeah, I probably would have tried to murderize some of them and i have them all on passive like an idiot but at the same time I, I when i when i get attacked by something or whatever i didn't really want everything shuffling around so it made sense but yeah hey gotcha oh my god dude that really could have been so bad i'm not even like i'm not even able to fully process how bad that actually would have been uh oh wow just a claw as, as usual. All right, back at it again with some more surface drops for the next few nights. And this was my haul from that night. Big haul from tonight. Man, this area's definitely got more drops and we got a really good Spinosaur saddle too. Another night with just tons and tons of loot and a lot of its crap. I did get this Megalosaur saddle though. Pretty incredible haul from tonight, actually. We did get a Megalosaur saddle blueprint. It's not super amazing, but it is something. And then I got a bunch of uh, hazard stuff as well. Honestly, like this stuff mostly comes from the drops with the rings and I seem to get a lot of those tonight so yeah really good luck I mean that's good considering the last few nights have been kind of trash Slippy had finally gained up enough passive levels to be able to one shot all these glow bugs once I was done with the glow bug massacre I went back to base and started prepping for the water cave this cave is located in the crystalline lake all right I'm really hoping there's not a carcanos down here because that's definitely happened to me before all right gotta wait a little bit so I can put you away and take you back out on the other side although I guess I could take a little peek it looks okay god this cave is 
gorgeous. Like, look at that. So beautiful looking. All right, so I'm pretty sure the way we're supposed to go is like right down here. So we could probably glide that and then pull out the barrier when I get down there. And we just got to wait a minute until that cryosickness goes away. Let's, uh, let's do a big loop here. Let's go back down and let me just try and like land off into the corner. There we go. We're good. There's going to be eels in here. There's going to be jellyfish in here. There can be sarcos in here. I think that there can be potentially a crab in here. Like we got to go through this little water tunnel and then go all the way around and then get out on the other side. This is the hardest part of the cave. It truly is. I think what I need to do for now is just uh, focus on killing anything that I can see. So I can see we've got some eels here. <gasps> oh, no. Uh, oh, that was so close. <laughs> oh, buddy. All right, let me use the barry on you. Now we can stun eels and stuff like that and some other creatures, but I think we can also find barries in here as well. In fact, I think I might see one. What is that? Yeah, that's a that's a max level barry. Just chilling. It's a good thing that he's on this side because I can at least shoot him, get him to come out of the water and then kill him. Otherwise, we might get stunned if I went in. I do have something because there's a lot of things that can dismount me in here. I did bring a stego, but I don't know if that's a good idea to try and swim through there on the back of a stego. I will say this isn't as bad as it's been for me sometimes. I've had times where there's like legit, like just so many bad things like right here. At least if I have some space to be able to actually shoot them and, and kill them from, then we should be okay. Yeah, this is just like one of the water parts that's super dangerous. There's another super dangerous part just up ahead. Yeah, look, we got a Carcanos right there. Are you kidding me? That's not fair. Oh my god, dude. I mean, I could probably avoid him. Uh, a bunch of salmon, uh, anglerfish, another Carcanos when we go through, and it's a level 130. Um, okay, we might be able to avoid them. Let's just keep swimming through. We're just gonna go right through here. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm gonna have to just go through. As soon as I saw this, my whole journey flashed before my eyes. And then I decided to just keep moving. <clears throat> Come on, get out of the water before that Barry gets me. We're good. We are good. That really scared me for a second. I was very tempted to turn around, but yeah, I just kind of froze in fear. <laughs> oh my God. That was terrifying. I think I want to go ahead and chuck out one of my Megalosaurs and we'll just have him start dealing with some of these guys. So you go ahead and kill that Carcanos. No, 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 no. Go deal with the Carcanos. Okay, never mind. Yeah, yeah. Okay, there you go. <laughs> He's breaking the seeker to the Carcanos. Oh, that's a Barry. Oh, he got me. Kill. Dude, I did not know that was a Barry. Kill him. Kill. What are you doing, buddy? What were you waiting for? What were you attacking before you decided to help me? Wow. Oh, that could have been bad. How are we doing? Okay, we're still doing good. I had no idea that was a Barry right there. I was aiming for the freaking jellyfish. All right, come on, Megalosaur. Let's do this. I guess I'll just kill these dudes because they're just going to come after me anyway. Oh, wait, what? Oh, there's a Carcanos up there. I didn't even see that. Can't get a whistle in on it. Oh my, what the hell is that thing doing up there? Okay, yeah, we'll just uh, we'll just have him following for backup. I mean, I could probably rush through here, but I don't want to end up with another situation where there's like a Barry on the other side. All right, you just, uh, you go. Oh, I see. Yeah, I see you. Go up there. Kill that Barry for me. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. Who knew Megalosaurs are great underwater creatures? Look at that thing. It's just chilling up there. Like, they put them there specifically to kill you in this exact way. You think you're at the artifact, but no. Surprise Barry. Yeah, this cave is like the one that I worry about the most usually because, I mean, water caves are tricky, especially when they're cl close quarters like this. I mean... This has got to be one of the hardest caves to do in Ark, considering all the creatures that can knock you off and stun you in every single way. But there we go. Artifact of the Shadows. One more to go. And you are following me out of here as well. So I got to climb up and try to get back to where I was before. And there we go. Nice. Light Pet just keeps running out of charge. I think I'm just going to power through this area. Okay. No Carcanos, I think. That's good. We gotta swim all the way up there. Uh oh, what is that? Oh, is that a Barry chilling at the surface of the water where I'm supposed to be coming out? No. <laughs> okay. Let's uh, let's just swim over here. Oh crap! I'm drowning. Gotta get up. Gotta get out. All right. We are no longer drowning. Uh, let me go over here. Gotta wait a little bit before I can use my rock drake to get back home. But yeah, we should be fine. 
Um, where, let me get my bearings. I think, yeah, this direction. I bred one of my Megalosaurs and one of my Spinos, and then I hatched those eggs up alongside the other two Megalosaur eggs we already had. Then I pretty much spent a couple days just raising them up. And then it was time to go out to the surface again. Here was the first night's haul. This was the second night's haul. This was the third night's haul. And then this was the last night's haul. I had to grab the last artifact, which is in a cave located in the red zone. I always really struggle to find the entrance of this one, though. All right, what do we got? Uh, so many creatures over there. Um, some up on the ledge. I don't think there's going to be an issue for us. Definitely need to get these guys to fall off, though. Let's just, uh, shoot at that Megalosaur. All right, we got the Megalosaurs coming. Let's hit the Arthro. I could probably just jump right past everything here and just avoid them all. In fact, I could probably just go invisible and avoid absolutely everything. I think it's, like, up there or something. I'm not really sure. Uh, okay. Let's just become uninvisible and let me just climb the wall a little bit. Let's see, we got that. Let's do that and cancel and then latch onto there. That was very laggy because we're loading in so much of this cave. I think this is the area. Uh, we got a bunch of things here. I think we'll be... Oh, th this is where the artifact is. Okay, yeah, we got to fight these guys. Yeah, it's kind of crazy how quickly you can get through this cave if you have a rock drake. To be honest, I probably wouldn't even come in here if I didn't have one because you'd have to like climbing pick all over the place forever. There we go. The artifact of the... What is this one called? The stalker? Yeah, there we go. Artifact of the stalker. Sweet. Now we just need to get the hell out of here. I could probably just glide most of the way though. We're a little bit high up, but oh my God, they're not even aggroing. What is happening? Well, that was really easy. I think the hardest part about that cave was actually finding finding the entrance like that took me forever I just I can never find that one at this point I had 17 of the 18 creatures I would need along with a megalosaur and a spino egg I managed to get twins out of the megalosaur egg and they both had the high stats as well so I plan to probably just raise up the two of them and then just substitute out one of my bad megalosaurs I crafted an industrial cooker and then started making some more medical brews and then I also made up some shadow steak saute this stuff basically reduces recoil to nothing and it makes it really easy to use the shotgun on rockwell's tentacles I was out at the surface drop again and I got exactly what I was looking for. <gasps> oh my, that is exactly what I needed. Yes. Okay, I'm leaving. I'm done here. Yeah, I'm not even gonna bother staying out here anymore. Like, we're done. We don't need to come back up to the surface now. I oh, that's an alpha Reaper King right there. Wait, wait, let me just... How much time do we have? We don't have that much time. I just want to see it. So cool. <laughs> All right, I'm not fighting that thing. No way. Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty good. And it's actually not even that expensive. I mean, the polymer biggest thing there but we can mostly use organic polymer we're probably gonna have to use a little bit of normal polymer though i used a mind wipe and then pumped all my points into crafting skill come on give me a good one. Oh, 39 percent. i will take that i mean i feel like we could have probably gotten a little bit closer to 50 but 39 is good 303 damage that is pretty amazing then i crafted up a bunch of megalosaur saddles Okay, not a bad haul of saddles here. I do have some just straight up saddles that are better than some of these, but yeah, they're still going to be pretty useful. Oh crap, I just realized I'm not going to be able to craft this inside of here. I don't have enough slots. No, oh, that sucks. Damn it, dude. Yeah, I'm so used to playing with S+. Plus. I keep forgetting there's only like 75 slots inside of a smithy. I'm not going to have a replicator either, so that's not going to be a thing. Wait, I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah, no, no. Okay, we're gonna make that one. 81 armor down from 94. It's a major downgrade, but that is actually a lot cheaper. I probably should have been going for these ones anyway. All right, well, we got six of those saddles and actually some of them here are really good. A lot of them around the 40 mark. Yeah, those are, those are pretty good. It's a real shame about this one, but these ones should definitely do the job. I mean, they're already really good. That is the benefit of having high armor on a lower tier blueprint. If this was Ascended or even Mastercraft, it'd probably be like twice the actual cost to make the same armor amount. It's, it's so weird. All right, last but not least, we got to do this Rock Drake one. All right, 88 armor on this. Let's see what we can get that up to. 106. Not amazing, but still pretty good. I will definitely take that. So here's all the saddles together. That is currently 16. We need 19 saddles in total, but I'm pretty sure I have a couple good Megalosaur ones. I know this one has a really good one on it. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll fill up those last three slots with the uh, with the ones that we just have. The final thing I needed for the boss tribute was two pheromone glands from a Reaper Queen, which of course means we're gonna need to kill a Reaper Queen. So I went to the red zone in search of them and I managed to find two together. All right, oh crap, two at a time? Probably not a good idea. We'll try it though. Oh my God, when are you guys gonna die? Jeez, you're so bloody, just pass away. Just give up, just go to the light. <laughs> I guess they don't like light, actually. Never mind. Go to the darkness. 
Okay, got one. Nice. Wait, did I did I get it? I don't think I did. I can see a bag on the ground though. It's probably in there. Hey, gotcha. Oh, I got five from that one. Nice. Okay. I guess we can leave now because I got what I needed. All right, so it is currently day 93 and um, I figured that we do a little bit of a check in here just to kind of figure out everything that we have done, everything that we need to do. And I have to tell you, we are fairly set to fight Rockwell. Um, the only thing I still need for the tribute is Nameless Venom and I think I need 12 maybe? I can't remember, something like that. I, I will have to get that within two hours of entering that arena. So we'll probably do that like right beforehand. I'm gonna need a bunch of that anyway to heal up the Rock Drake because it heals 100 health per Nameless Venom. So I wanna maybe try and get like 50 if I can and then we're gonna have enough to, to heal him up by like a, an absolute crap ton if we need to. But uh, everything else, I mean, like, I, I just kind of need more armor. So I don't know if I want to go out to the surface to try and get more surface drops or maybe just craft some more. I I'll probably go for this one, to be honest. This one's slightly cheaper than the other one, but it has better durability. Slightly less armor, but not, not by far. Uh, then we also have this blueprint right here, which I don't know. I'm going to have to see if that's even possible to craft. It looks like it might end up being possible, but I'm going to have to mostly go for regular polymer. Uh, rather than organic polymer, which is basically free with all the crabs around. So I don't know Maybe I'll just go for the lesser chest piece and just make up like three of them instead of just two Yeah, we'll go. We'll probably go for this one I mean like it seems like a waste to go for this one being so expensive It's gonna take a lot to actually get that so I'll probably just go for this one instead um, And then I guess what else do we have in terms of armor? Let's see we have I'm gonna need another helmet Of course, we're gonna need two chest pieces maybe three potentially and then I guess I could probably just bring like an extra pair of armor anyway. So we've got this, we've got this. Let's just bring those as well. We might as, might as well just do that. I mean, like three pairs of armor seems like a lot. I'll just wear the best pair at the start. And then, um, yeah, I guess I'll try to make up two more helmets, three chest pieces, and I need a pair of gloves. So let's see, what are we going to do for that? Um, oh, that is, that's good, but that would be, uh, actually, you know what? That's not that expensive. That really is is quite decent. I mean, it only costs 50 normal polymer and everything else. I mean, crystal, one of the harder things to get there, but it's pretty much all around me, so it just takes a couple minutes to actually grab. Um, yeah, I'll probably I'll probably make up one pair of these, two pair of these, and then three of these. Uh, and then yeah, we should be good. Man, we uh we've done good. I will tell you, like, you know, I could probably get this done in, like, the next day, but it's only day 93. I'm gonna wait until day 100 to go into that arena, so I'm trying to get a good angle here, but it's taking a long time. I'm gonna wait till day 100, because I, I don't want to potentially die in there and have another situation, like, on the island where I technically died before day 100. The title needs to be somewhat accurate, so, yeah. Anyway, um... In terms of creatures, though, we have all these dudes here. We have the Rock Drake. We have the Shinehorn on my shoulder. And, uh, yeah, we're, we're fairly set to go. I just I just need to craft up these things, I suppose. So we're getting down to the end of things here, folks. Uh, we're on day 98, and I'm setting up everything for the boss fight. Unfortunately, there's no easier way for me to get all my creatures centered around the platform up that little hill right there. So uh, I pretty much have to be chucking them out of cryopods. And unfortunately, the Megalosaurus wouldn't wake up fast enough, so I can't chuck them all out at once. I'll probably do that with the Spinos, though, but I'm also down here to collect up a bunch of Nameless Venom. We're going to need 12 for the Tribute to actually enter the boss arena, but beyond that, I'm just going to bring as much as we can possibly get, because the more Nameless Venom, the better. That means I'm going to be able to heal up my Rock Drake by a ton. It gets, like, 100 health per Nameless Venom, so if I went in with, like, 100 Nameless Venom, I'd be able to heal him up by 10,000 health at some point if I needed it. So yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how much we get. We have lots and lots of time until day 100, which is when we're of course gonna start the boss fight. So uh, yeah, there we go. We finally got some extra ones, man. I, it was it took me a little while there to get some extra. It was just like not giving me anymore. I, I had like 17 for like five minutes. So yeah, um, yeah, we're pretty much setting everything up here. I also should probably mention it's been a few days since the last uh, clip there on what day was that? 93, I think. Um, I actually had to take a couple days break because I wanted to wait for the update where Rockwell will be updated and he's going to start talking and everything. Basically, they, they announced this update for the boss fight. So I was like, okay, I'll, I'll wait for that to be out. So yeah, the rest of this video has been edited and I can tell you right now, like uh, this video is... Uh, been absolutely crazy. I was pretty much dead on with the first half being like around an hour or so. 
super crazy but um yeah lots and lots of stuff was done in the first half i'm really happy with the progress so i'm just really hoping that we can actually manage to defeat beta rockwell with the stuff that we've managed to get so far in this challenge and um and hopefully try to ascend we'll see though but uh yeah so i'm gonna continue my work down here we just gotta wait for some more nameless to start spawning after a little while they just kind of stop spawning in areas so you have to move around a little bit okay so it's day 99 and we have a lot of nameless venom in here i'm not exactly sure how much but i guess we'll find out in just a second let me just sort out my armor situation here so i gotta get rid of all this stuff and then i gotta swap my set of armor that i have on with the best set that i have here so let's do that real quick and there we go and now we're gonna drop this set on the ground as well and then i'm gonna take all of that and then i'm gonna transfer in all of this meat there you go uh okay cool so i'm just gonna sort out my inventory here um i'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that folder we don't need that anymore and yeah i'm gonna sort out all this stuff okay let's see so we gotta do this really quick because I obviously want to limit the amount of time that this stuff is in my inventory because that's going to start spoiling at four times the rate. So here we go. Let's do that. We have 136. Not bad. Boom. Sweet. Okay. So yeah, I just need 12 of this, of course, to uh, to do the tribute. But we got a little bit of time before it's actually midnight and then we roll into day 100. But yeah, all these dudes are, are ready to go. Um, at this point, there's really nothing else I need to do. Let's just go Gamma 3 to make it a little bit brighter. Just probably gonna just chill here and uh and just you know contemplate everything <laughs> oh my god all right i guess uh eh, yeah, i'll go ahead and just heal you up a little bit there you go buddy it's really crazy like you know so much preparation put into a video like this you know it, it's it's a big thing to try and just do 100 hours of gameplay and then turn that into like a video that's probably around an hour and a half long um honestly like I, i'm really happy with this so far and I'm really hoping that we actually can ascend here because it would really suck if I didn't. So yeah, we uh, we just gotta wait till midnight now and then we can get down to it. And it is officially day 100. Yes, I did it. I made it here. I can end the video now if I really wanted to, but I guess we'll do this Rockwell fight. Here we go. Oh, okay, okay. So um, for this fight, the, the main thing that we just need to try and do is just keep moving. Uh, I gotta keep filling up my dude here with the nameless venom to heal him so he's uh so he's all healed up and his stamina is gonna regen i'm just worried about that spinal right there i feel like he'll be okay he should teleport right most of his body is within this bubble but we'll see oh man all right oh, I'm, I'm so nervous man <laughs> oh all right we can do this i know we can here we are Ooh, there we go let's do that and there is rockwell let's go gamma three. Oh wow Okay, we're already uh, gammed up, apparently. Wow, it seems super dark right now. All right, let me whistle them in. There we go. Oh, dude, that's awesome. So yeah, he does have his voice lines. I did another video where uh, I basically had that stuff being featured heavily. So if you want, uh, you can probably hear it a little bit better than that. We're going to focus on trying to get this done, though. Um, okay, so that took five shots to destroy. Okay, yeah, this is why having a really good shotgun is necessary. You don't want... To have to spend several mags on the same tentacle wow okay oh and i didn't even do this shadow steak definitely recommended in here because uh of course that's gonna make it so you're gonna pretty much just be super accurate with the shots there we go let's go ahead and just shoot that one a little bit uh we got these balls behind us here um i do need to shoot those occasionally all right we gotta get over here get ready for my dudes to start attacking i'm not sure if they're already attacking they might not be let's see a little bit more we also gotta shoot the balls. There we go. Nice. Are they attacking? Get in there. Come on. Here you go. Perfect. Okay. Ooh. Oh crap. That's a lot of balls. Um, we're good. <laughs> All right. One more tentacle to go, and then he should go down a little bit. That should bring him down to like a quarter, I believe. All right. Here we go. And boom. Oh wait. Seriously? You're not dead yet? Damn. All right. Sometimes I I don't know why. Sometimes it seems to take an extra one I don't, it's weird maybe some of the pellets are, aren't actually hitting it's kind of annoying how i keep having to whistle them in like this though all right let me get over here yeah i think nameless will start spawning now which shouldn't be much of an issue the reapers are the real issue in here so yeah let me uh also just heal up my guy a little bit so he's already down by like almost 3k so let's just there we go and then just do a couple more here i don't want to overdo it there we go nice all right, we also got to watch out for him electrifying the arena here. Ooh, crap. Ooh. He's 
do that. Okay, we're good. We're good. That could have been really bad. I did not expect him to do that. Okay. Yeah, so uh, if you get stuck in that, it dismounts you. And that would have been super bad. That probably would have been... Maybe not the worst thing right now, but if there was Reapers around and that happened, then that is, like, basically death. Uh, come on. There we go. Nice. Oh, okay. We, uh, we got three more. Oh, look at that. That is so crazy, man. Oh, we got the balls coming up against me here. Um, all right. Let's see. Uh, okay. It's just one. We're good. Oh, that's a lot of nameless, though. Yeah, that freaking attack. Like, he, he just immediately starts doing it. It's so terrifying. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We got Reapers. All right. Let me, uh, let me just try and move away from them. I don't really want to try and have to deal with them. I'm not going to try and kill them. I'm just going to let them be here, you know? We'll just try and avoid them. All right. Ooh. Oh, crap. There's so many of them. I can't really... Oh, okay. My... <laughs> the balls broke my pants. No. <laughs> All right. It happens, guys. Sometimes, you know, living this life. <laughs> it's a blessing and a curse. Uh, okay. Oh, he's electrifying again? Dude, stop doing that one attack. All right, yeah, he's on like a sliver. One last round, and then we got you down, buddy. Oh, my God. Look at this Megalosaur just being mauled by the Nameless. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. Ah! Oh, that is so many plasma balls. Oh, that's not, that's not okay. Oh, I, I lost my helmet. We're okay. Um, we'll be fine. All right, that's dead. Nice. Oh, look at this freaking Megalosaur go. <laughs> What's he even doing? He's just running point for me. He's just like, he's got my six. Go. Okay, here we go. Come on. Let's do it. Everybody in. Oh, they're not, they're not going to bother, are they? No, I got to do it. It's up to me now. <laughs> they're all just preoccupied with everything else. Come on, Rockwell. Come on. Let me do it. Yes! <laughs> oh, there we go, guys. Ascension, baby. Oh, yeah. Well, if you have enjoyed this 100-day adventure, go ahead, do me a favor, hit the like button. It costs you nothing. It helps me greatly, and uh, we'll do Extinction. I got to figure out what we're, how we're going to do that because there's a lot to do, but it, it can be done, and it will be done at some point in 2023. Thank you guys for, for watching and uh, enjoy the ascension. Now, I enjoy the sweet embrace of death. The aberration way as well. 